हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स ए वीडियो व्हिच विल प्रूव वेरी यूजफुल फॉर ऑल दोज हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स बिकॉज द क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अप आर ऑल रिलेटेड टू दोज वेरी वेरी कॉमनली आस्क्ड क्वेश्चंस एंड दोज क्वेश्चंस इन्वॉल्व मल्टीपल स्क्वायर रूट्स सो इफ यू सी हियर द टाइटल हियर स्क्वायर रूट ट्रिक्स there are so many problems which you can just watch and tell the answer but if you start following the traditional approaches you know it might uh, get solved but result in lot of wastage of time so you need to watch the entire video to learn four very very important tricks through which you can solve these problems based on square uh, roots and i'm sure after watching this video you will say this is what we wanted <laughs> okay so if you want a collection of these 350 short tricks which will help you in cracking the quant exams and help you in calculating 10 times faster then you need to send me a message on whatsapp 9896369963 this is the whatsapp number i have already underlined it for you and uh, i tell you this ebook of short tricks will be one of the best things you have ever purchased with regard to your education right if you have not clicked the subscribe button please do it now and don't forget to click the bell shaped icon so that you keep on getting all the notifications of future uploads on this amazing channel wow so i'm so excited you know bringing this video to you so let's see the first trick and you must have seen these questions so often but the tricks you know at one place it is rare so watch the first one for the first one i am going to take a question where we have a uh, say square root of x and within this square root we have another square root of x and then square root of x and this pattern continues up to infinity now this is the question and the same number is repeated and we need to find the answer now i'll tell you the logic also why it works okay the first thing is the short trick so whenever you have a question like this you can directly write your answer as x that means the number which is repeated that itself will be your answer for the question let's prove this why the answer will be x itself now for that i am taking a question where we have square root of 7 being repeated 7 then square root of 7 square root of 7 square root of 7 and so on now if i assume this as say uh, whatever say y so if the first square root of 7 i keep it as it is what happens to the remaining part this part this part actually is the question itself if you see the thing which i have put in rectangle that itself is the question so this part is also y so when i separate this out this is y and we have a y on the right hand side now i can just square both sides and when i square both sides the square root on the left hand side will get vanished so this will be 7y equal to y square so i can cancel a y and there i go the value of y is 7 and what was y y was the question and therefore whenever a number is repeated like this within a square root the answer is the same number so square root of x square root of x square root of x square root of x repeated infinite number of times will give you the answer x how much time will you take to solve this question now one second right observe and write okay let's see the second trick now second and the third trick are indirectly related so i'll use a single slide for those tricks right so let's divide it into two parts on the left i have a number within a square root like square root of x and now we have a plus so i am adding square root of x plus square root of x plus and this pattern continues now i want to find the answer for this particular question so first thing is to understand how this works for that i will take an example of square root of say 42 plus square root of 42 plus square root of 42 and then this keeps on repeating up to infinity let's assume that this is x okay 
Now I want to find the value of x here. I'm going to do the same thing. The part here, this part, is actually x only. It is also the question. So I will write square root of 42 plus x equal to x because this is the value of x itself. And now if I square both sides, 42 plus x will become x square thereby giving me a quadratic x square minus x minus 42 equal to 0. Now if I factorize this, I will get two factors and you can split the middle term 7 and 6 are the factors. So x minus 7 and x plus 6, those are the factors and that will give you x equal to 7 and x equal to minus 6. Now square root cannot be negative, right? So just uh, reject this and retain this as the answer, you will have the answer as 7. Now how does it become a short trick? This is the traditional approach, right? The short trick is, the number here is 42. Write 42 as a product of two consecutive natural numbers. So 42 is 3 into 4 is 12, 4 into 5 is 20, 5 into 6 is 30, 6 into 7 is 42. When you are able to break this number as a product of two consecutive natural numbers, the larger one will give you your answer. See, 7. And so whenever a question is asked like this, they will invariably give you a number which is, you know, which can be factorized or broken down into two factors which are consecutive natural numbers. And so 42, if you see the question, oh, plus sign. And 42, 42 is 6 into 7, so 7 is the answer. You are just going to crack it in 2 seconds, maybe 3 seconds, if you are not able to find the consecutive natural numbers. Right. What happens if we have a negative sign? So for that, I take, okay, first I will write the rule. This is the question which I am taking. x minus square root of x minus square root of x and so on up to infinity. Now I will check what happens here. So, for simplicity sake, I am taking the example of say square root of 30. So, square root of 30 minus square root of 30 minus square root of 30 and so on up to infinity. Let's assume this as x. Separate out uh, this part and write it as x. So, this will be square root of 30 minus x is equal to x. If you square both sides, 30 minus x will be x square. So you get a quadratic x square plus x minus 30 equal to 0. See? So we can split the middle term line, right? 6 and 5. So I think the factors are x plus 6 and x minus 5 equal to 0. That gives you x equal to negative value which can be rejected and positive value 5 which will give you your answer for the question. Now how does it relate to the short trick? 30 can be broken down as again the product of consecutive whole numbers. 30 is 5 into 6 and the smaller one will be your answer for the question. See 5, the smaller one. So whenever you have a plus sign here, break it down into two consecutive natural numbers and take the larger one. Larger one will be the answer. When there is a minus sign, the smaller one will be the answer. So two short tricks for all the competitive exams. Okay, let's have another problem where there are multiple square roots. I'll take two examples. So I'm just splitting the screen. Here we have to find the square root of say 7 plus 4 root 3. Now invariably the question will be like you can uh, express 7 plus 4 root 3 as a whole square so that the square root vanishes. Okay. They are not going to test you with numbers and uh, irrational numbers which cannot be expressed as a whole square. Okay. So 7 plus 4 root 3. Now how do you tackle this? For this, this number 7 is greater than 2 square. 2 square is 4 but less than 3 square. 3 square is 9. So it lies between these two perfect squares. 2 square and 3 square. Right. The smaller one, 2 square, the 7 has to be broken down into two parts, one of which is the smaller one, 2 square. So 2 square is 4 and 4 plus 3 is 7, right? So 
So how do I write this? I will write 2 square plus this 3 also has to be expressed as a whole square. So I will write root 3 whole square. Now this is the important thing. If you are able to express 7 as 2 square plus root 3 square, you know the rule, you know the answer because the square root of 7 plus 4 root 3 is going to become 2 plus root 3. Now you can actually check if we square 2 plus root 3, 2 plus root 3 square, this will give you 2 square 4 plus 2ab that is 4 root 3 and b square that is 3. So that gives us 7 plus 4 root 3c, the same thing which is there in the square root here. So 2 plus root 3 is our answer. Now if you have, if you have understood like 60% of this it is okay, I am taking one more example to clarify the things more suitably for all of you. So suppose we have a question where there is 14 plus 6 root 5 in the square root and we have to find this square root. Right? Now the number here is 14 which lies between 3 square 9 and 4 square 16. Correct? So how do I express 14 now? 14 will be written as this number 3 square which is 9 and 14 minus 9 is 5, so I will write a 5 here. And so 14 can be written as 3 square plus, this is to be written as root 5 square. And now I got the values 3 and root 5. So the square root of 14 plus 6 root 5 will be this number 3 plus this number root 5. And here is your answer for the question. So again, you know, little bit practice on is required and uh, if you practice these things are not at all going to be difficult. So multiple square roots are not difficult. They are all based on some tips and tricks which you have to follow. Right. So if you have understood this and you like this, do share it with all your friends, uh, especially on your WhatsApp group so that, you know, they can also take benefit out of these and they become the top one person, uh, you know, of the people who can actually crack these questions just by watching the question, right? Do practice and do comment here whether this benefited you uh, or not. All the best for your practice.